The world is faced with an increasing number of infectious diseases such as Ebola, Middle East Respiratory Syndrome, MERS, Severe Acute Respiratory Syndrome, SARS, and the recent COVID-19. These affect humans mainly via physical contact with body fluids of infected persons and health workers on the front line are not left out. According to the WHO, screening and effective waste management are vital approaches to stop an epidemic. Joseph Azetta and his team were inspired to come up with a miniature-sized robot to remotely screen for infectious disease cases within the population. Ah, the mosque! Ah! Oh my, this guru don't spoil everything, no. Oh my, you did now? Ah, long time now. Ah, uh, how is everything? I'm not happy. Oh my, that's why you can't have the long face. I'm not happy. Hey, oh my. It don't tire me too self for this country. I hear I say they don't die for each other, not. See, oh. they don't die for it. They don't die for west. Ah, oh my, it don't tire me. Even south self. But the thing we call the tire before all these things, you see, people are doing stuff. Hmm. What are we doing in this country? Um, no. Ah, we are doing some things here in this country. They do stuff here too. There is this guy called Azeta now. Which Azeta? Mebo now. Mebo? Yes, now. You don't know Mebo again? I know Mebo now. Eh hey. You know that guy is a bad guy. I like to build a robot now. Robot. Yes. For what? For this coronavirus, you don't do one for Ebola that time. You can't do another one this time around. Ah, you can. Let's go and see you. We can't go and see. Let's go and see. Ah, Mebo, they try this time around. Mebo, ah, <laughs> if that Mebo. Did you do the robot? Yeah. I told you. So why robots when we need a vaccine? Um, well, I'm not a virologist, um, but you know, vaccine takes time and they undergo clinical trials before they are approved for treatment. But in the meantime, we have to limit the spread of the virus by introducing robots to replace healthcare workers in screening suspects. Why are we replacing healthcare workers with robots? Wouldn't the robot be infected? Um, you know, robots don't die, but humans do. Um, however, the robot is going to be decontaminated according to medical procedures. You talk about screening suspects. Yeah. What type of screening are we looking at? Um, well, um, temperature evaluation. Um, the robot asks about recent travel history, um, contact with infected persons, and um, likely symptoms. So what's the communication with the robot? Like. Well, it's a speech-to-test communication. What this means is that um, the user has an Android phone, which the application is installed in. So it uses this to communicate with the robot, and the robot displays tests in response. Um, the communication can be done in five different languages. Um, we have um, French, Igbo, Aousa, um, Yoruba, and um, English. So the user can choose its preferred language for communication. You mean your robot speak Yoruba, but you don't speak Yoruba? Mm, I can speak a little. Like what? Um, a caro bubuleo, <laughs> a kale bubuleo. Ah, you must be a genius. <laughs> That's awesome. Is that all your robot can do? Um, actually, no. The robot can do other stuff. As you can see, it's a semi-humanoid robot um, with arms and end effector, which it uses to hold and drop objects. Also, it has a, a mobile platform um, which provides support for the upper parts of the robot, which is also a means of navigation. And it is, it is equipped with obstacle detection capability for collision-free movement. So how long have you been working on this project? Um, about two to three years now. Two to three years we've yeah. been working in the laboratory on this robot? Yeah. That means you must be a laboratory rat. 